So one of the things that a lot of atheist um, activists bring up why we need to get rid of religion is because if you believe in religion, that kind of means you're making this uh, error. Um, you're believing something without solid evidence. And this error could kind of creep into the rest of your thinking. And you might start accepting stuff without, uh, without proper proof. Um, and I, as an atheist myself, I, I'm kind of sympathetic towards that, although I think people can actually, usually in their everyday lives, do actually differentiate between those stu the stuff that's right in front of them that they need the kind of certain standard of evidence for and the religious stuff that they have a different standard of evidence for. Um, nevertheless, you know, you might say, well, there's a risk there. Uh, but the interesting thing to me is that whilst I think there might be some kind of risk and religion being a part of the world um, and people thinking that it's reasonable to believe in a religion when it doesn't seem to be to me that might be stuff that would cause some problems um, people in the atheist movement don't seem to discuss the much what I see as much more significant uh, significant dangers to rational thought um, which are actually just standard human cognitive errors that have nothing to do with religion. Uh, just stuff like all of the kind of biases that go on in your own brain, um, the memory errors, and all of the different kind of uh, cognitive fallacies that the mind is prone to when analyzing opinions that are different from yours, for example. Um, and so we go through these things of, oh, well, these are the kind of fallacies that are used against us, whatever. But people don't really discuss the kind of uh, cognitive problems and fallacies that we might encounter in everyday life and that all of us do because we're humans. Um, and, I mean, maybe someone does, but I don't hear that much. So the thing is, do you, you could propose strategies if you inform people about all of the things that might go wrong in their head um, and then give them tools to kind of practice self-reflection and possibly identify those things. That would help to prevent that, right? And I would think that free thinkers and rational human beings would very much want to encourage that. And um, I see emphasis put on that by almost no one. As a matter of fact, I really haven't seen many videos on the types of cognitive errors that people make. I mean, I'm sure someone's made them. Um, and very well might be someone that's in the atheist community, and then in that case I applaud that. Uh, but it's not part of the standard discussion. Uh, the, it's also not part of the standard discussion to discuss the ways in which the atheist community, if you take it as the sum of its members, um, shows many kind of irrational uh, behaviors at various points in time, um, and just kind of this herd mentality. These things also aren't really discussed uh, as part of the everyday conversation. Rather, the focus is on the theist community and the horrible impact they have on uh, the rational world project. Uh, but I think there's so much irrationality to be found in every one of us, by definition. Uh, at the same time, there's so much work that could be done in giving people tools to at least recognize some of that uh, irrationality or bias and address it. Um, that there's this huge scope for improvement, but that doesn't seem to be a focus at all. And that makes me believe that the atheist movement is not primarily concerned with uh, creating a truly rational world, but rather with just creating a world free of religion and then hoping really hard that that will just make the world a rational uh, and reasonable place, whereas it won't, because people, whilst one source of moderate influence that created s irrationality might disappear, there will still be many, many other sources, the foremost being just 
the plain old human psyche. And a lot of the atheists that are so super sure of everything they do um, are really part of the problem, not part of the solution, in my view at least.